to, to frame this in, in the right way, you know, when all of us, when politicians run for office, they say, what are you going to do, right? And uh, the first thing we always say is we're going to create jobs. Now, there's a big argument about whether government can create jobs or the private sector. Um, I guess it's a combination of both. But one of the things that you get tired of as a mayor is people telling you what to do and nobody helping you figure out how to do it, right? So that's a, that's a common criticism that we get. But I knew when I, because I was campaigning, I'd ask people, well, what do you need? You know, so in New Orleans, always small women, locally owned businesses would complain that they weren't able to participate, weren't able to create jobs, weren't able to participate in the big economy. And so you would ask them, hey, you know, what do you need? I mean, what do you really need to, for, with help? The first thing they always said was, we need better and more training. You know, we started our companies on our own. We're out here trying to figure out what to work. We didn't have a chance, you know, to, to get an MBA. We need more training. We need more capacity. We don't have enough stuff. I don't have enough machines. If I'm going to demolish houses, I need to, which then means you need access to capital. So after I got elected, obviously, we did the traditional things that mayors do. You know, um, I called up Goldman Sachs and said, why don't you just move your corporate headquarters to New Orleans? <laughs> And that way you can create 5,000 jobs. Yeah. Sounds like a good deal. BP, yeah. Much maybe you food. can do that. Yeah. And so you that know that there's this huge competition amongst governors and mayors to recruit firms to come there. And that'll go on forever. And there'll be economic incentives to do that. And so that's called economic development. Um, but there's another thing called economic growth. And small businesses are the engine of the nation's economy. And when Goldman, when this opportunity arose, Right, and Goldman said, we're really interested in working with New Orleans on this. The second I looked at it, I said, I think that's really gonna work because that satisfies the needs of what people said they wanted and they needed. And here's the beauty of the program. I mean, it's really spectacular. I can't say enough great things about it. The first thing that happened was try to figure out, well, who's gonna come into the program? Because everybody wanted to be in. But the idea was, this isn't a gimme, right? You gotta have some skin in the game. And so we don't want to talk to anybody that didn't try already to risk everything that they had. And so you, you have to have been in business for two years. So we're talking about, for example, there's a, a, a business called the Demolition Diva. Um, she went into the business of destroying and taking down houses that needed to be taken down after. But she didn't really have everything she needed. There was another young man who has a karate class. There was another young guy that ran a barbershop. There was another guy that actually was in the construction business. And so. We, didn't want, we wanted there to be some transparency in who was chosen, and we didn't want the government to do it, so we needed a partner. So who did we ask? We asked the Urban League in New Orleans, you do the screening. So we got a bunch of people that came in. Out of 100 applicants, we chose 30, right? And then Margaret and her team came in, and they said, look, who's a community college? Well, Delgado, a community college in New Orleans, is the largest college in Louisiana. It's not LSU, hmm. right? And not everybody in the world, well, they're a little bit smaller, and they're fighting over who's bigger. But not everybody in the world's going to college right away. And the community colleges, right, are providing a service that every corporation in America says, who's going to provide the training for exactly what I need when I get out? And how are you going to train to the job that's available? So that we had that part. And then Margaret came in and said, look, I've got the curriculum. We're going to teach the teachers how to teach these businesses to do what they did. And then after it's over, Goldman Sachs said, not only are we going to provide all of that, but at the end of the day, we're going to be standing there and now these credit risks are much great, better than they used to be, and they've been trained. We're going to give them access to capital. So this program gave them everything that they needed. Wow. Now, in New Orleans, and I don't know about the others, but I'm assuming they're just as good, we've been through six graduating classes now of 30. So 180 businesses have graduated. Almost every one of them has increased the sales in their businesses and added one, two, three, four, five jobs. Now, what governor or mayor wouldn't pay a lot of money for a 500 job corporation to come in the city on any day. And these people are from New Orleans, they're born and bred there, they're gonna stay there, that's where their families are, and they're building generational wealth. So young men like Jamil, right, all of a sudden have the opportunity they always needed to be. And that's why this program has been such a spectacular success. And New Orleans just feels, I mean, we're thrilled to have been a part of it. And I can just tell you, it's working here, and if it works in New Orleans, it pretty much, it can work anywhere. <laughs>